Hi everyone, I'm just doing a quick little video, uh, two things. One is um, Mrs. Baker Girl had done a quick little tag, so I think I'll uh, answer her tag questions. Um, and I haven't done that before, so this is a good way to start. And the other is to let you know I've changed the name of um, me, I guess, on YouTube. And I've restarted uh, a blog I used to do, so uh, I'll tell you about that as well. So first, Mrs. Baker Girl. She had three questions. Uh, question number one, what do you like to stitch with? And she's speaking about threads. Uh, I mainly stitch with DMC threads, um, whether it's cross stitching or it's hard hanger. I use the DMC on, um, or the pearl cotton DMC. Um, number 5, number 8, number 12 were the DMC threads for cross stitching, but I've also stitched with the Caron watercolors and uh, is it Wild Lilies? I forget the name of it. So I've, I've, I use those as well, um, but DMC is my go-to brand. Uh, now I have to say as a little uh, add-on. I'm doing that kit, and actually this leads into our second question, what are you working on at the moment? Uh, I'm working on two things at the moment. One is the um, uh, the whip I just showed you on my last video, which is the Michael Powell bookmark kit. And, sorry, just one second. Uh, I should mention that the bookmark that I'm working on is Misty Hill Town bookmark. Um, and it's with anchor threads. I've never used anchor threads, but uh, they're kind of nice. Um, we don't really, it's not easy to get here, um, but uh, I, I do like the anchor threads. So, uh, at any rate, so I'm working on that bookmark, um, and I have updated my blog with what I'm working on, so maybe I'll just leave it for that. Uh, the third question was, how do you see yourself in 10, 20 years, you know, down the road? How do you see yourself down the road? Will you still be cross-stitching? Do you think you'd ever stop? Nope. I'll never stop. This is a craft that's been with me 20, 30 years. Well, 30 years, I would say, closer to that. I've done many other crafts. I still do many other crafts, but uh, stitching is the mainstay. I love it. It's... Um, it is what keeps me going. Leading into that is why I changed my name. Um, I had a blog and then I of course started up this YouTube channel. Like I said before, I don't have an imagination. So uh, I couldn't really come up with a name. Um, however, uh, a few thoughts strolled into my head when I was half asleep and I came up with a name. And uh, it's Stitching with a Smile. And let me read to you what I've uh, come up with and why I've named it that. So it is um, Stitching with a Smile. Thoughts run around in my head. The negative thoughts bully the positive thoughts. They push, they shove, and they like to be loud. Positive thoughts don't bully. They don't scream. Positive thoughts sing softly and need to be quiet to be heard. Stitching quiets the bullies, lulls them. They need to rest. I can then hear the positive, ho positive thoughts singing. Each positive thought gets one-on-one -on -one attention. Stitching brings order in the chaos. So when I stitch, I smile. You may not see the smile if you're watching, but it's there, always on the inside. Stitching with a smile. I've now renamed a couple things. So I've renamed YouTube. Uh, I've renamed my blog and I've restarted it um, and I'll link to it uh, as well. So I just thought I'd let you know and I think that'll be it. I'll make it this one a quickie. So I hope everybody's having a uh, really good stitching time and keep stitching with a smile. Thanks. Bye.